it's beginning to all make sense. Do I know you? I know him. I thought Bartran told you to clear off, Dougal. Calm yourself, Varric. I just wanted to meet your brother's new business partner. Yes. Bartrand was falling all over himself to enlist my help. And that's what I need to talk to you about. Dougal's one of my dear brother's ex-partners. Bartrand turned aside my offer of help, even though I had the coin to spare. Thing is, I still think it's a promising venture. The fool won't let me invest, but if someone like you invested on my behalf... What do you think? Hard to say. Dougal's never done me any harm. See? There you go. Still don't trust you. You're as sour a bastard as my brother without the family connection to make it easier to swallow. Do what you like. I came to you, not to him. But we do need the coin. Just what kind of terms are we talking about here? I give you what Bartrand needs. Bartrand thinks it's your coin. Then when the expedition's done, you pay me back double. What if I don't have double? This might all be for nothing. If you really think it's such a waste of coin, why go at all? I think double's the very least I could earn back for this kind of investment, don't you? This seems suspicious. <laughs> I'm taking quite a gamble myself. I'm willing to bet you're a good risk. Bartran obviously thinks so. You care to extend the same courtesy to me? Bartrand was pretty desperate for help. He must have had a good reason to turn you down. He did. We had a... disagreement. They tried to kill each other. You've met Bartrand, yes? Someone would need the patience of a Bronto not to want to kill him. But what's done is done. Now his pride won't let him take my coin, even if it ruins him. He won't be happy if I do this. He'd lose his mind. Not that it wouldn't be funny to watch. Then why tell him? Bartrand is better off not knowing a lot of things. This way he's happy, you're happy, and I'm happy. We're all happy. <laughs> why not? I can never resist a shady deal. Risky, but who else is there? We need this. Marvelous! You tell Bartrand that the coin's on the way. I'll have it delivered to him discreetly. Good luck on your expedition, my friend. We shall meet again. Never miss him. Barrack, where did you get off to? And what are you planning? Bartrand, so suspicious. I have in fact brought us our future partner. What? Partner? You stupid nug-humping dirt farmer. Why did you go promising something like that? Because if we don't get this expedition moving, brother, then we won't have any profits to argue about, will we? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. Ah, there's so much love here. It's very comforting. What I'd love is the coin to back up my brother's confidence. How about it, human? Are we talking a full share here, or what? If you have the coin, sure. You'll get a full share. That seems like a lot for an expedition. We're going lower into the deep roads than anyone's ever dared. Who knows what we'll find down there? Well, that means food and equipment and hirelings. None of that comes bloody cheap. I'm still figuring that part out. Then how about you tell me when that happens? Until then, you're not much of a partner. Relax, Bartrand. Have I ever let you down? 
You don't want me to answer that. Day to be planning a trip into the deep roads, don't you think? The blight, the dampness, the festering, filled with tainted rats. Shut up. You've got a real chip on your shoulder, you know. I've got a big blade on my shoulder, Meiji. Right. Wonder what you're compensating for. Found your mystical hoard of coin yet, human? The coin should be delivered to you shortly. You're joking. What did I tell you, Bartrand? Not bad for a human. All right, partner. Full share of the profit between you, me, and Varric. Now we just need a decent entrance into the deep roads. These might be just what we need. What's this? Three? Four entrances into the deep roads, all in the free marches? Where'd you get these? A wizard did it. Well, color me astounded. We just pick the most promising one, and go! Time to wrap up any business you have in the city, my friend. We'll be gone for several weeks, at least. Let me know as soon as you're ready, and we'll head out. So are you ready? It's a long trek. If you have any business you need to wrap up here, you'd better do it now. I'm ready. Let's get started. Then let's not waste any more time. We've chosen one of the hidden entrances. The deep roads there will be nice and virginal, ready for a good deflowering. Ha! <laughs> now there's an interesting image. It'll take a week for us to get to the depth we need. There are bound to be leftover darkspawn from the Blight. Big risks, big rewards. Risks? Rewards? What could be better? Exactly! Now, before he... Wait! Who invited the old woman? I'm sorry to interrupt, Sir Dwarf. But I need to speak with my children. Mother, no. We talked about how important this is. I just want to know one thing. Are you planning on taking Carver with you? I can't leave Carver behind. I need him. I'm going. It'll be fine. It's not fine. You can't both go. What if something will happen to you? You, I understand wanting to do this. But leave your brother here, I beg you. I said I'm going. Besides, if we're so bloody afraid of Templars, I should go and she should hide. Well, you're not gonna be able to take everyone anyhow. You'll need to decide. I beg you. Don't go. Don't do this. Don't worry about me, so. I can take care of myself. You'll see. Personal drama over with? Now let's get underway. Been a long time coming, eh, brother? That it has. 
The deep roads await. No, this can't be right. The champion was an apostate who came to Kirkwall to spread subversion against the Chantry. But you claim this wasn't the case. The champion just happened to have dealings with the Canari, joined forces with a known raider, a blood mage, a rebel warden, and for what? Coin? Maybe it's not as simple as you imagine, Seeker. Simple? Do I need to remind you what your friend did? Do I need to tell you how many lives have been lost? How many more will be lost? You cannot sit there and tell me she is innocent! I don't know if innocent is the right word exactly. She must have known. Somehow the Champion knew what was down there. That's why she wanted to join your expedition. No. None of us knew. If we had... She wouldn't have let her brother step foot into that blighted hole. Is that so? Then tell me your version of what happened on this expedition. Well, we entered the deep roads as planned, but we didn't get very far. There's been a collapse. The way forward is blocked. What? Is there some way around? Not that I've been able to find. The side passages are too dangerous. Useless! What am I paying you blighters for? Set camp! Problems, brother? Starting deep roads. Who knows how long it'll take to clear the path. Shall we not try to find a way around instead? Seems like the logical choice. You think I'm an idiot, Varric? The scouts say the side passages are too dangerous. See? This is why you bring someone like me along. We'll take a look. If we come running back, screaming, you'll know staying put was the right decision. Fine. Fine! Find a way around. Just do it quickly. This is why I left the Wardens. I hate the blighted deep roads. Ah, I hate to add to your burdens, my friends, but I fear I must. I fear my boy Sandal wandered off. He's somewhere in those passages right now. I beg you, keep an eye out for him. He just doesn't understand danger like he should. One man out there alone. What are his chances? My boy is sturdier than you think. If he has one of his enchantments with him, he'll survive. He's burned down a house twice by accident. I'm more worried about him getting lost. Oh, my poor boy. When did you last see him? Not a half hour ago. I turned my back to hand out rations and he was gone. He gets so easily distracted. Oh, I should have been harsher with my warnings. We'll bring him back in one piece. Or maybe two. Hard to say, really. Poor Sandal. I can't believe he's done this. Let's move quickly, then.
I love 